Good morning from beautiful Holland, Michigan. All right. I have been uh, surfing around on YouTube for a while, and uh, I especially like Kurt J. Mack. Uh, as far as Kerbal Space videos go, now I have seen a lot of uh, people trying to design their own space shuttles, and uh, having designed two successful models, I would like to give some tips on how to build a space shuttle. So let's do this. First thing you're going to want to do is go into the space plane hangar. Now, uh, then you want to pick one of these three cockpits. That you could use the pods technically, but uh, that's just no bueno. So I'm going to pick this one because I never use it because it has to do with that. Anyways, so go ahead and attach your whatever advanced SAS you want, either the avionics package or the actual advanced SAS. You're going to need this. Second, you're going to need to answer the door. I'll be right back. Okay, it was just the uh, cleaning lady, Mary. She's a wonderful person. Second, you're going to need to design the body of your ship, and I don't normally use the Mark II fuselage style, so we're going to try that. Now, it's all about fuel. Uh, this has 75 units of fuel, liters, I suppose it is. This has 150, so that means we have 375 liters of fuel. Now, I found you need about... Mm, a thousand or so on your main space shuttle to consider it good. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make additional fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some fuel pods on the side and just put those. I'm sorry. And turn on our symmetry and put those back here. Now, what you're going to want to do after that is create your wing structure. Now, you're going to want something that will have a good glide uh, profile. So what we're going to do is that. I'm going to stick this on Holy crap. Alright. Idea number two. And this is what happens when you design space shuttles. It just... They get kind of complicated really fast. Alright, there we go. So that is the main body of our space shuttle. Now, these are not cross-feeding, which we need. Because what we're going to do is either we're going to put one rocket engine right here, or two rocket engines right here. Now, I prefer uh, the, hmm, all right, yeah, I'm trying to think of my center of mass. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and direct all of the fuel into this area. Now, we're going to need an engine, and I prefer that engine. And if you want, you can smack some parachutes on the back of this thing. Now, the next thing you're going to need is some control surfaces. So we're going to put on the standard control surface on that wing. We also need a forward control surface, much like a submarine, because uh, the atmosphere is absolutely like soup at sea level uh, on Kerbin. So we're going to go ahead and make our control surface behave, hopefully. There we go. There's our next control surface. So now that's the profile of our ship, which I'm going to call the Trout 1. So the next thing we need is a tail fin setup. Now, there are multiple theories on how to do this. And because I never do this one, normally what I do is I put two out on the wing like that and put a control surface on it. This time, I am just going to trash that because it's angled. I'm going to put one on the back of the space shuttle. And that looks like it should do it. Yep. I'm just missing one critical thing right now. 
and that is landing gear. So we'll put that there. Okay, come on back. And we'll put that there. Let's just check and be sure that's straight. It is. Good, so that's the Trout 1. Click Save. Now what a lot of people have trouble with is in the space plane hangar configuring boosters. Uh, do I want RCS on this? Okay, you can add RCS. I'm not going to just because this is a how to build a space uh, shuttle. Um, both of my other models have RCS and I just thought about that so we click save then what you need to do is you need to exit out of the space plane hangar and then go into your files Let me just move that a little closer onto here go into ships space plane hangar find your craft control X to cut it go into the VAB control V to paste it now that will put the trout one into our VAB. So we just go ahead and back out of that and get back into Kerbal Space. Now, when we click on the VAB and go to load spacecraft, we will magically have the... holy, I have too many sh ships. I need to clean my files. Uh, Trout 1. Now you're thinking, great, Trout 1, awesome. But it's uh, at an angle. Click on that. Bring it up. Now it's riding really close to the uh, uh, tower, so what you do is try to get it to behave. Um, Alright, this takes a little while because sometimes it doesn't always want to work, so I'm going to pause it, uh, this recording software, until I get it to the uh, proper area, because that might take me a little bit. Okay, now I've got it kind of where I want it. Um, it's not exactly, you know, where I intended it to be, which is in the center, but I'm not going to fiddle around with it too much now. What we're going to need is a booster system. Now, you could go either liquid rocket or solid rocket booster system, and I personally think we should go with a liquid system on this one, just because the liquid system will last a little bit longer. Uh... And, alright, let's see if we can't get this to work. Now what that should do is on both sides of the craft there should now be radial decouplers, and there are. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to construct... Uh, boosters. And there's our first piece of a booster, and what we're going to do is we're going to build the boosters so that they're capable of supporting come on now so they're you are kidding me capable of supporting holy criminy Christmas uh, one fourth of this craft you know what I hate it when that happens. Uh, if you screw up that badly, just go ahead and reload your uh, ship, and there it is, the trout. New plan. We're going to do exactly what we did before, except we're going to do it better. And by better, I mean solid rocket boosters, the big ones. Now, with this, I have absolutely zero idea if it's going to get into orbit or not. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, here's part of the problem with SRBs. They sometimes get onto that thing and they sometimes don't. So once you configure a booster system, it, uh, it works out pretty good. Now, I'm not really going to mess with the Trout 1 right now, just because uh, I'm running out of... Uh, you know what? Yeah, I will mess with it. Um, come on, you stupid piece of crap. <gasps> is it on that thing? It is. Cool. It's not on the best, but, you know, whatever. The other thing I like to do is, uh... 
make these into stable solid rocket boosters. Now, my problem with this craft is I would really love to have some liquid boosters, but I can't really make those right now. Yeah, see this this is the problem that you run into is with the boosters. So, I'm going to show you guys also an alternate way to take care of the boosters. What we're going to do is we're going to save up this trout one, go out of here, back into the space plane hangar, because I'm pretty sure I still have a trout in here, which I do. And this is another way to take care of the uh, boosters, is to assemble the... Yeah. The other way to take care of the boosters is to assemble it in here. And the way to do that is to put this here, zoom out a bit, and then build it like that. Uh, I don't know why this... Oh, right. Nah, derp. I need to do that in order to be able to build the boosters. Alright, this will make life a lot easier. What you do is you do that, 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 and uh, it's also a lot of trial and error with um, building space planes. So, there is our booster. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this vertical again, save it, go back to our files, delete the old trout craft that I have in the VAB, pick up the trout craft from here, go back into the VAB, and put the trout craft in the VAB. So now we're going to get out of here, we're go back into here, load up a spacecraft, the trout, and we should have our liquid fuel booster right there. Next stage, go ahead and turn on symmetry uh, times two. Next stage is to match that up, grab this, see where we're going wrong. Yeah. The only thing is the uh, boosters can be a bit tricky to get on, but that is how you do that. So I'm going to pause the video and bring you back in when I get it on. Alright, the problem we were just running into was I was hitting my landing gear when I was installing my boosters. Let me just double check. Yep, that's considered to be on there in the KSP sort of way. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select what boosters you have on it, or I guess your engines, uh, and I choose the non-vectoring really kind. Now this is off by a little bit, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down till it lines up perfectly. Hit save. Now, in order to not have your ship come crashing down to Earth the second that you take it off of the launch pad, you're going to want to put these on the bottom so that your ship ends up looking like this. Now, all space shuttles, save it, have a common startup procedure. Um, sometimes it's more elaborate, sometimes it's less elaborate, but it generally... That is off-center. It generally goes to the tune of this. T, shift, and I'm going to guess that about 60% will do it. Caps lock, G. Oh, look, my little avatar's in this ship. The Ky Kyle J. Kerman. Uh, anyways, I will end this video, upload it, and uh, I will test this out. And if it's a good ship, I'll post it. If not, um, then nothing gained, nothing lost. Alright, see you in a bit.